I'm Kevin Armstrong. Welcome to Manitoba Moments. How about this for a job? Wearing a straight jacket, hanging from a rope, and the rope is on fire. You have less than a minute to escape, and you're still in the straight jacket. Well, there's a Manitoban that does it for a living. Dean Gunnerson. He does it with chains and a bomb on the rope, but still escapes. Some consider him the world's greatest escape artist, a title he earned as the recipient of the first Houdini Award. For 25 years, he's been escaping the unescapable, chained in cars inside car crushers, sealed in a box with explosives, and hung hundreds of meters above the earth. But what's really impressive is 726 feet. That's the distance I'll fall if I make just one mistake. The world's most dangerous magic. In a televised special, Gunnarsson hung from a trapeze strapped in a straitjacket. Easy. Careful. Ah. Slowly. It all started in Winnipeg. So kind of For me, this is where it all, all began, is, is hanging from this building. Back what do you in. think when you look up there and you see? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's only four stories, but, you know, it's still, it's kind of high, eh? Like, you know, you think about it. And as an 18-year-old kid, it's like, oh, shoot. After years of practice, Gunnarsson performed his first public stunt on Carlton Street in downtown Winnipeg, hanging from the old Free Press building, a tribute to his idol, Harry Houdini. Houdini performed the same stunt from the same building in 1923. Houdini could have walked down this, this path, you know. The same path Gunnarsson now walks, all thanks to a book Gunnarsson read when he was 10 years old. When my kids were in school, they belonged to a Book of the Month club, and one of the selections, one of the months that we were uh, choosing books, happened to be a book on Houdini, and, uh, and uh, Dean decided he wanted it, and, and uh, it became an important part of that time and also his future legacy. And when I saw that book, I thought, wow, that would be really interesting about and you know it had the little summary about the book and about this this uh, amazing escape artist that travel around the world doing all these impossible things and as a kid it just kind of in there and Gunnarsson carried the book around in his back pocket everywhere he went he would read it over and over again it wasn't long before he was trying his own Houdini inspired tricks